How to do a mortgage call report in the NMLS. First log into your company account. Click at the top where it says filing. Now click call reports. And then click mortgage call report. Click create new MCR. Select the year and the period that you're going to file and click create standard MCR right here. Edit the state that you're working on. You want to fill this in with zeros so you don't have to enter them in later. Click no activity to report. Next you're going to enter in your application data. Uh, AC10, that's you're going to enter your applications that carried over from the previous quarter. So that has to match your applications in process at the end of the last period. On AC80 of the last period, you want that number to match AC10 of this period. Next, you're going to enter the applications you received during this quarter in AC20. Now you enter your applications denied, applications withdrawn, AC50, and you just enter everything in here. Um, closed for incompleteness, if you have some that were closed and nothing happened to. Um, you're gonna enter AC70, your loans closed and funded, but you notice you still need to enter in all of the applications that nothing happened to. Those are your applications still in process. You got to enter that in AC80 in order to make AC66 and AC90 match up. You got to enter in your, your AC80, which th that's all the applications left over that are carrying on to the next quarter. Now you see how it balances between the two uh, parts of the application data. AC66 must match AC90. Got it. Now let's go down. You're going to use this closed loan data. And that has to match, AC70 has to match going down AC90, 190, AC290. So you want to enter in uh, what happened to these uh, loans. You have some FHA, some conventional. See how the $3 million matches the $3 million up here? $3 million down here. It's also going to carry down. Let's try. Uh, one to four home dwellings, that's usually what that is. Uh, so AC200, you're going to enter those three loans there. Home purchase, say one of them was a home purchase, the other two were refi. But you see how it's balancing the three, three million, three million, and three million. All three of those are balancing up and they're matching the loans closed and funded in AC70. Let's scroll down. Uh, are they first loan, first lien? Yes, usually they are. Now, how much did you make? AC60, put in your broker fees collected. And then scroll down some more. We're going to bypass all of the uh, reverse data. Forget that for now, because this is just a simple forward mortgages. Let's assume we don't have any reverse right now. But you would enter that in here in these parts. OK, so AC900, three count. Uh, that has to match the count up there. It's the three loans that were closed. Now they're all qualified loans. So I'm just assuming they're all, the three million in qualified loans goes. Uh, they're all qualified, not non-qualified. Now down here, the servicing. You don't do any servicing if you're just brokering loans. So leave that zero. You don't have the servicing rights. You never sold them. You never released them. But you need to carry down your gross revenue, $60,000. Everything that you made. Okay. MLO section. Click on the MLO section. And you want to put those three loans, pair them up with an MLO. So you're going to add new. Now you have one uh, LO that closed all three loans. Now that matches your closed loan data. You enter that there. 
And now your completeness checks should all balance out the three million in three loans. See how it says completeness checks, all completeness checks pass for this filing, all data validation warnings pass for this vi filing. Great job, you did it. Click ready to submit. And you're gonna do that with every state. We just have one state here, ready to submit. That's what you wanna see. And then go down to the company level information. It says, it says pending initial right now. We gotta change that. Something's missing in there. So you're gonna click the edit button on the, on the company level information. Click there. So what's hanging up the report is the nationwide uh, totals for the loans serviced. Now, here is also where you put your lines of credit, warehouse lines if you're doing lending and you have a line of credit. But right here, this is what's hanging up your nationwide totals. And you gotta zero this out. So click no activity to report. And then you're gonna save that. And now all completeness checks pass for this filing. So your nationwide totals now now they're clear. Now your state level and your company level information are both ready to submit. Click the button at the bottom that says completeness, check and submit. Now it says all completeness checks pass for this filing. Attest and submit. Check the box that says I verify I am the named person above. And now click attest and submit. So now it says your MCR filing is being processed. NMLS will send a notification to users assigned to receive the notification once processing is complete. So your mortgage call report is now complete. But if you have any questions, we are here to help. You can contact us on our website, 50statelicensing.com or email us, 50statelicensing at gmail.com or call us 949-800-9378.